Hi, everybody. It's Kateri. And Owen. And welcome to Tarot Talk by the Soothsayers Tea. And we are discussing justice. 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 The Justice League, actually. This is not a Tarot Talk at all. Yeah, we're going to be talking about Supermans (laughs) and Batmans and Wonderful Women's. I love (laughs) that. No, we're going to be talking about justice. Um, So, yeah justice we all know what justice is at least i hope that you know what justice is it means truth law righteousness justice justice, (laughs) equity you know what all the good stuff yeah all the good stuff um when it comes to history wise it's not really a whole lot to kind of talk home about this one um i think that the concept of law and order has been kind of ingrained in human psyche for a minute so it's not like the high priestess where we have like a bit of a backstory with pope joan or anything of the sort it's just pretty much justice it's actually um one of the four cardinal um virtues along with fortitude which is strength temperance which is obvious temperance and prudence which is usually associated with the hangman which we're going to get to um but yeah justice it's just fairness in general or having a sense of righteousness Not self-righteousness. We want to make that very clear. Um, Mm -hmm. It's just regular, standard, fairness, and truth. Mm -hmm. Judge Judy. Judge, It is Judge Judy. Mm -hmm. Um, Do you have Judge Judy in the U.S.? Of course. U.S.? I'm not American. I know. Owen. Owen. I'm sorry. I'm deeply, deeply sorry. I know this, too. But, like, that's, like, you have the same TV I'm going to say the words. Podcast canceled. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 just it's like instinct, not instinct. Like what's it called? Auto, an autoimmune response. It's just an automatic <laughs> response at this point when I'm talking to people from like foreign countries. I'm like, do they have that in the U.S.? <laughs> you know, I'm gonna start calling you British, and then you see how you like it. Oh my god! I, okay, listen, shut up. I, it's not like I called you French, okay? <laughs> suppose it could always be worse <laughs> we love you france all right so speaking about justice <laughs> moving swiftly on moving very 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 swiftly on um yeah history wise again it's pretty straightforward again it comes into cardinal virtues more than anything so there yeah. is a little bit of a connection there um we can pretty much go straight into parallels really because it's it's pretty straightforward it's about history there was justice the yeah there history, there, there's always been a judge right um when it comes to the concept of the pl- uh, practical plane we got the emperor it's where its association lies there and on the spiritual plane we got the moon um so it's interesting that's kind of associated with the moon because the moon is kind of um, associated with uncertainty so where mm-hmm. justice is kind of sitting there it's just that you don't know really where the scales are going to land over yeah I think a lot of people sort of make that mistake a little bit. They'll see justice as conviction when it's really, that's like, that can be a part of it, but it's not necessarily conviction as in knowing what to do. Yeah. It's can, it's more of an investigation card for Mm -hmm. sure. It's a finding truth and finding, um, not even finding truth. Sometimes just making the the fair and balanced decision. Mm -hmm. Right. Sometimes it doesn't have to be necessarily, um, quote unquote the correct decision but it has to be the right decision or the fairest decision yeah there's nuance to it <laughs> there's nuance, nuance. Who would have thought so um this is the card that has been swapped out by strength because as we discuss either strength or justice kind of goes in this spot um that just really comes down to your persuasion um justice being 11 it has like the um parallels and the symbology of having scales and having balance there um but also with the eight they kind of has a nice cute little loopy um symbol associated with eight um that kind of shows balance as well <laughs> honestly that's straight up what it is um a little loopy symbol associated with eight i don't eight, know why well, that's too funny to me but it very fours and it's twos and it's all that numerology bs but um i do like it in either position um I kind of like strength a little more just because storyline wise, it kind of makes a little more sense in my head. But Mm. if we want to look at the card before we got wheel fortune, which is the concept of luck. So it does fit really nicely in the 11th spot because it does associate that 
when it comes to making fair decisions. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes, it, again, it's considering all the different factors there. And it's not necessarily finding the truth, but again, finding the fair decision depending on where your luck's sitting at the time. Yeah. And I always really appreciate actually justice in this position because I think justice followed by the hanged man is very, very nice. I do very much like that sort of searching for truth or sort of searching for the like the facts that will help you make the right decision followed by the hanged man who is eh, just a little bit paralyzed by that decision. Yeah, and the hangman is actually kind of showing like after justice, after a decision's made, there's there has to be some sort of sacrifice, right? Yeah. Um, or in this case, hangman traditionally, again, we'll talk a little more about that in the next our talk, but the hangman traditionally has always been kind of like a hanging man from the neck. It's been, uh-huh. it's been a little yeah. more executional wise because after being hanged comes death, right? So there's, mm-hmm. again, we have that progression there. But again, for a quick moment, there is that moment of martyrdom. So when it comes to justice, it's like when there's a decision made, there's always going to be a loser. Right. There's always going to be somebody mm-hmm. who does not get justice yeah. um, because, again, nuance, nothing's always black and white. It can be. And that's where the concept of truth comes out in this card. Right. When you're yeah. finding truth, that's when it's not nuance is black and white. But when it's not necessarily black and white, there is going to be somebody who is going to suffer a loss for somebody else to yeah. get the I- win. Exactly. I feel like justice talks a lot about making the decision and then the hanged man can sort of indicate the price that that decision cost. Yeah. And we're, we've discussed decision a little um, more there because when it comes to lovers, um, it also indicates kind of decision as well. But the lovers is very much so like a decision of the heart, mm-hmm. while justice is very much so a decision of the mind and very much so it's a decision of uh, the the group for the, the bigger good, basically. I... I just had the biggest little brain fart of my life where I was like, did we do the lovers? Have we done the lovers yet? And then I forgot oh like, that gosh. lovers was literally one of my favorite episodes. They talk about divine gender with Theo. And I have decided that I am in fact just insane. Oh, and you're having a moment today, aren't you? <laughs> I, I, listen, listen. I did not get my justice <laughs> yesterday. That awful awful traveling if any of you follow me on twitter you will know that because we're recording this on sunday you will hear this tomorrow and saturday i was traveling and i was in the airport for seven hours before i was able to like get on a plane that would take me home and i was almost not go i was almost homeless yesterday because they were not (laughs) going to allow me to fly oh no Yeah. yeah So what, again, in concept with the real fortune being right beside what comes up must must go down and for every win, there's a loser. So there's, it's an interesting, it's, I, my experience with the card personally is that um, it's not necessarily the easiest card to deal with, but I like it because Mm -hmm. in most cases, again, it depends on the surrounding cards. This card in context is going to be depending on the cards around it. Um, if this card comes up, I'm going to be pulling additional cards to see what the context is there because it really does indicate there is either going to be working in your favor or working against your favor. Um, but again, the biggest kind of theme there is kind of truth and or f- making a decision. Mm-hmm. And I think we actually had this conversation. With, oh, that was not English. I think we also sort of had this conversation with the Wheel of Fortune um, in terms of pulling an additional card. I find that at least for a lot of the major arcana, it does help to have additional cards around it. If I pull, if I'm doing a one card pull and I pull a major arcana, I'm hmm, I'll sometimes I'd say 50, 50 chance that I pull an additional card because it can be so big and thematic and not so specific. Yeah. And, and I, I think again, that is a good example of when one would have to do that. Yeah, and I get depend. It depends on your reading style. For me, I always read the major arcana as almost like the subject of the um, reading, while any minors coming up is going to be the um, the actions around it, right? Yeah. Um, Um, So I always like seeing minors surrounding this card because it really gives me a good idea of the vibe that's going to be happening. Oh my god! Wow. (laughs) Say it. I dare you. Say I love seeing minors. Those words almost. I don't have to because you just did. Somebody Absolutely. clip that right now. On today's episode of awful childish humor with Owen. 
Oh, God. <laughs> this podcast is triple canceled today, I swear to God. Yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, my experience. From the uh, Soothsayer's Tea account, I love seeing Miner's Katuri. <laughs> hate you no you you said you said i almost said it you have said it like four times now so that's on I you think this is true <laughs> <laughs> it is more your quote than mine at this point <laughs> oh my gosh we're going off the rails already um, already seven minutes in <laughs> but yeah um again experience wise um it's one of those cards that um often it comes up when people need a wake-up call in the readings that i have with people um, it usually indicates to cut the bullshit, focus on finding what the decision has, what has to happen. Um, I think we've it, actually reached a consensus for the first time when talking about when a card comes up for us. Perfect. Oh my God, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy very much, a, it's, it's a cut the crap card and it's like, okay, stop, just make your decision and just make it happen at this point. Um, it can come up in cases where um, there's a lot of manipulation happened and a lot of like hidden, again, depending on the cards around it. But if somebody's being lied to a lot, um, or if it's like kind of a situation where a they're shitty partner, shitty partner, it mm-hmm. comes up. Yeah. Um, but for the most part, I find that when it comes up for my clients, it's usually because like, oh, I don't know if I want to do this, if I do that, or I'm kind of stuck. And it's just like shit or get off the pot. Do oh my it. god i remember seeing a tiktok the other day not the other day this was definitely within the last year and um, <laughs> i have such an awful habit of doing that i was talking to my mother earlier and i was like yeah um i was speaking to our like our, her friend the other day and i checked the text and it was literally october november november of 2021 wow. um yeah for me definitely this card comes up when Oh, no, sorry, I didn't even I didn't even finish my anecdote. <laughs> um, I seen a TikTok the other day where this person was saying that if you pull, if you're trying to do a twin flame reading and justice comes up in relation to your twin flame, that means that they are your twin flame. And I was like, <sighs> um, I mean, like if you want to pull that out of your ass and saying like, oh, it's the eleven, so it's two ones together. Sure, <laughs> okay, maybe. Sure. Oh my- sure have fun with it have fun with it becky becky go go ahead have do your thing live your best life live your truth fucking becky man (laughs) but yeah for me this card comes up an awful lot for relationship readings with someone who is in a relationship with a very unhealthy power dynamic usually and someone is sort of taking advantage of them and even sometimes when someone is taking away someone else's sort of own ability to make decisions and making decisions for someone else and um, that is when I find that justice can come up quite a bit for me. Yeah. But when it does come up, because when you have relationships that are like that, or, or reading, relationship readings you like that. You having relationships? Wow. I know, right? But when you have relationship readings like that, there is other cards that kind of indicate that they're kind of stuck in that cycle. Well, justice makes it very, 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 very clear that you have the power to make the decision here. It's a very powerful card. It's almost, um, for lack of a better term, it's a very empowering card. It's a card that comes up saying, oh yeah, no, you're the boss here. You're the one that can lay down the law and make the decision. You just have to do it. Yep. Yeah, so it's, for, that's why I'm, I don't have like this um, opposition to it. When it comes up, I'm like, yeah, well, this is going to be a hard lesson for you to learn, but you have the ability to push it through without question mm-hmm. absolutely 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 yep. so we do have a few pop culture connections and this is really kind of going off the whole concept of um again the word itself justice and righteousness and making decisions for better or for worse um the first one i have here is black panther um, especially when it came to um, the Avengers, when he was kind of first released, he was kind of on a war path to avenge his father. Yeah, I really liked Black Panther. Black wow. Panther. <laughs> Black Panther. <laughs> um, but I will be completely honest, and I will say that I do not remember the movie at all. I'm not a Marvel nerd. I'm sorry. I watched Black Panther, I think, when it came out on Disney+. Plus and i think i watched it half asleep it was i remember thinking that it was a very very good movie i just can't remember why so yeah. we're, 
Yeah, yeah, yet another example where we're just going to have to take your word for this. <laughs> That's fair. Well, we're going to go into the actual movie again, being in a leadership position where he's doing everything for the right things. Um, unlike being in a leadership position, which is like the Hierophant, he's still going through that journey of learning. So he's not at that higher point of of learning at that point. And when it comes to the emperor, the emperor is too authoritative. So he's kind of like that balanced character of being fair and making the right decisions, right? And making the best decisions for his people, his country, et cetera, et cetera. But again, it also comes into that kind of nastier kind of concept of justice and come up, which is again, that sense of self-righteousness. Because one thing we didn't quite touch on is that, yeah, sometimes this card can be a real asshole. Um, it can really kind of come up in a way that people think that they're right, um, no matter what. And I find that Black Panther, when he was first introduced to the series, was very much so on that war path. I believe you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually, I do, I do vaguely remember what you're talking about now, and I do agree. Um, oh, that was such a good scene, though. Like the first scene in Black Panther, or like the first sequence in Black Panther, um, mm -hmm. like in the apartment building, is it? Like in the apartment? Yes. 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 Ooh, that was good. Oh yeah, when the claws came out, I was just like. I remember seeing that in the trailer and I'm like, I don't know who that character is, but it's already my favorite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So good. Yeah. Um, I think my pop culture connection or one of them is going to be, oh, what was her name? Judge Jen from yes. The Good Place. Um, and I literally just before this in Googling the actor, by the way, it's Maya Rudolph. I love Maya Rudolph so much, but I can never remember her name in everything that she is in. She is perfect. Um, I also, in Googling this, I discovered that Jen is short for hydrogen because that was the only atom in existence when she was created slash born. And so her name is Judge Hydrogen. And I think that is so funny. But Judge Hydrogen, Judge Jen from The Good Place, um, is very much this sort of, I almost said international instead of uh, uni universal. I almost said, I okay, the word I was going to say was imperial, which does not make sense. <laughs> but the word I was looking for was cosmic slash universal judge, who sort of judges everything. It's hard to explain if you haven't watched The Good Place, but if you have watched The Good Place, you'll know what I'm talking about. You'll also know who I'm talking about, and you'll know that she is amazing. But a lot of the time, her impartiality, impartiality, yeah, um, yeah, can be a little bit too much and can affect her decisions in ways that she's not really she can make bad decisions because she's very impartial like impartial to a negative um and i think that that can also be brought into justice quite a bit because i see justice come up sometimes when someone is focusing very very heavily on themselves in making a decision and they're not worrying so much about the fallout of their actions and their decisions and that's yeah. a little bit more of a a um niche situation it definitely is definitely conditional but um it does happen and i think judge jen very much embodies that yeah because the justice card is very much so although it considers all factors it's not partial to any of them yeah it's pretty it's, it's pretty cold it's it's pretty cold it's not i wouldn't i wouldn't necessarily use the term selfish no just cold yeah just cold yeah, it's very much so, like, there's a sword in their hand. There is a very much so a connection there to the sword suit when it comes to justice. So it, it's mm -hmm. a, a it's an intellectual card. It's not one of thinking of feeling. Um, yeah. It's But it, it's fair. Um, I have not watched A Good Place, so I will have to take your word for me it. Me too. It is so good. It's I've never been telling people to watch A Good Place since it came out. Me and my mother watched it together. I don't know why I keep calling her my mother when I'm speaking to other people, because it sounds so, like, <coughs> oh, my God. It sounds so aggressive when I say my mother. Um, my when, mother. Yeah, no, because that's what I say. I'll be like my mother. Um, but I mean, like, I, 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 it just feels weird saying mom, my mom. Um, ma'am. Whenever, no, not ma'am. Ma ma'am. Ma'am. <laughs> With a hard mom. <laughs> no, it's my mom and I watched it together and we loved it. And we think, I think we have re 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 I think we have rewatched it at least three times. Yeah. And that's precious. Uh, the next one I have on the list is another Marvel one. Actually, I had another one here, but I'm letting you steal it. Um, but Thank for the you. Mar 
But for the Marvel one, um, this is another very, very like obvious example of this, just because the whole lawyer by day, vigilante by night, um, Matt Murdock slash Daredevil. This is a very good example. Of... So good, Daredevil. Oops. So good, so good. But um, it is definitely again two sides of the same coin when it comes to justice is that taking justice in someone's own hand and also doing it the right way during the day and being the lawyer and going through due processes and such um if you have not watched daredevil yet one what's going on with your life um two it's a sexy show um three it does have that whole concept of almost um basically punishment now justice doesn't necessarily have a whole lot of concept of punishment but again it kind of pulls into that concept of if there's a winner there has to be a loser so daredevil really kind of pushes that that if there's if he can't get justice during the day he's going to get it during the night at all costs and i do think that kind of really just kind of pushes into the concept of the card itself where you just have to make decision and stick to it oh my god okay listen my dear good friend has been trying to explain the plot of daredevil to me for months and in that very succinct sentence of like if he can't get justice during the day, he gets it at night. I now finally understand the plot of Daredevil, and now I think I'm going to watch it. Good. Yeah, because okay. again, um, for anybody who hasn't watched it, this is not a spoiler, but it's it starts off almost like a crime drama. Because again, you see that courtroom kind of like drama and the really awesome kind of like courtroom stuff. And then Have at night, suits? he's beating the shit out of people, and it's great. Have you seen Suits? Uh, no, again, on the list. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> i know we have like so different like tastes in tv and it works very mm-hmm. well for these pop culture connections but it not does. so much anything else all right what's the fourth one well okay so he sees you when you are sleeping and he <laughs> knows when you're awake he knows when you've been bad or good so be good for goodness sake santa claus <laughs> Um, Saint Nick. You honestly, you reached peak podcaster when you came up with this uh, example because I was in shock and awe when you said these words to me. I was like, "Yes, perfect, <laughs> amazing," and then I stole them right out from under you. But um, Santa Claus, very, very, he's a, a huge, he's an international star. Everyone knows who Santa Claus is. But um, yeah. He, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Santa Claus is very much that impartial, godly figure that is watching you at all times. He's the judgment um, of mankind, is what he is. Yeah, he is. He is the reaper. He is judging all of you at all times, and that is just—it's beautiful. He—he's got that naughty list. He's got that nice list, and he is sticking to it. He is sorting people by bad or good, and he does not care. He doesn't care he that. If you threw that snowball at Sally's head, it does not matter because he doesn't care about your reasons. Was it good or was it bad? And it's bad, so you go on the bad list. I just said he does not see black or white, and that is the objectively not what I meant to say. I'm so deeply sorry. He he sees only in black and white. He sees only in black and white. This is a very much gray areas, not for Santa. Doesn't (laughs) exist. Just doesn't (laughs) exist for Santa Claus. It's either you get the lump of coal or you get the teddy bear. There's no in between. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but, Santa Claus. So, I think we're done. <laughs> I think we're done. I think this is really At some point, we should really come up with a way to end the podcast instead of a, a brief moment of silence followed by one of us going, okay, we're done now. <laughs> yeah, like, we're done. I'm done with yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for listening, everybody. We will see you on Friday. I have been Owen on Kyla. You can find me on Twitter and in the beginning of this podcast, quite many other places, but not anymore. Um, so hit me up if you have any DMs. I run also the Soup Series T Twitter, at Soup Series underscore T. But that is all in the link tree in the description. So, you know, I don't need to tell you that. Exactly. If you love us, you love us. You know where to find us. I'm Katiri. Mm-hmm. You can find me at Vinoxis. Again, just like Owen, there's a list at the beginning, and now it's just mostly on Instagram. I also <laughs> run the Soothsayers underscore T Instagram if you want to keep updated on new releases, which is usually every Monday and Friday at, you know what, whenever I decide to get it up time. Yeah, I'm and I'm, 
I'd love to tell you that's exact time, but whatever. It's whenever yeah. I get around to it. Again, this is a very unprofessional podcast run by two professional tarot readers. Um, you get what you get. You get what you get. And honestly, um, the other thing that I meant to mention is if you do want to get updates, you do need to follow the Instagram because the tweeting is not helpful to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little more consistent, yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.